Steve Martin and Martin Short. Alone, they're hilarious. Together, they're one of the world's best comedy duos. When Marty and I fly together, we save a lot of money because Marty fits conveniently in the overhead bin. When it comes to awards, Steve's got a ton, including five Grammys and an Oscar. Martin, however, well, I'll leave that to them. Let's count the awards that you have won. One, two, three, four, five, six, none. In an unlikely pairing, they're joining forces with Disney princess turned pop superstar, Selena Gomez. The ten-part series, Only Murders in the Building, sees them play complete strangers, united by a shared love of true crime. Much to their horror and delight, they find themselves involved in a case. We should do our own true crime podcast. We're going to go down there and look around for clues. Do you want to come? Do I want to break into a dead guy's apartment and go through all his shit? Sounds like an afternoon. <laughs> Tony caught up with the cast, but his interview got off to a bit of a rocky start when he asked about true crime podcasts. I listened to one from Australia that I like called Case File. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you never even heard of it? I can't believe I talked to Australians and never heard of it. Well, he's oh, from, from New Zealand. I'm New Zealand. It's a whole different place. I know that, but still, Australia, New Zealand, it's all one big country, right? Well, that's like saying, oh, you know, you're from Argentina. Don't you know the latest Dutch podcast? <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, we're happy to be loved. And they're all right, those Aussies. They go, OK. I know. I know. We were almost in New Zealand. We, uh, Marty and I were almost played there. But then COVID came along and it didn't happen. Speaking of um, sort of your live show, is there any banjo in this new series? No banjo. I, I thought they asked, but I thought, no, it's too dead on. It makes me myself rather than my character. Right, and we also said, you know, wouldn't it be nice if this were a hit? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I ended up playing stuff. the concertina, actually. The concertina? Excuse my ignorance. What's a concertina? It's a little ac tiny accordion. Oh, that makes sense. Very sweet. It's more like Irish. Hey, I was just wondering, uh, what was it like uh, working with a legend? Uh, that question's for Steve and Martin. <laughs> working with what? Not untrue. It was, no, it was, uh, well, you know, it was always fascinating because, you know, you meet Celine, and the, I, we, I, I met her the first day of the first shoot, and she's charming and lovely, and, and, and then, and she's just so like your, the loveliest, person you could meet and then you go outside to shoot at night and there's 85 paparazzi awaiting and that's her life and it and they weren't there for the two uncles and selena was there any pressure mate doing some comedy up against well you know these two old guys oh i mean even when we weren't shooting they had me rolling laughing about something um it was it was just a like hoot uh, I was interested to know, out of the three of you, let's say on set a body was found, which of the three of you would you point the finger at? Oh. Oh, I think, um, Selena. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, you know what it is? It's the cockiness. <laughs> thinking you can get away with anything. You can kill whoever you want. When you get older oh. and wiser, you know, it's eh, thing you might get caught. If if we had done it, the, the police would come and go, what's that smell? Oh, older guys. <laughs> <laughs>